Here is a quick tutorial on how to ship a book you sold via Fulfilled by Merchant on Amazon. Typically, when a Merchant Fulfilled order comes through, you should be receiving a notification on your phone. From there, you can check your Amazon Seller app to view the order. You'll also receive an email notification. This is important because you will be able to see all the fees associated with the sale. The most important takeaway is your personalized SKU. Your personalized SKU will show you the exact location of where your item is stored. Our FBM listing tool gives you the ability to add location information in your SKU, so when an item sells, you'll be able to find it quickly. I'll link the video on how to list FBM items with our software on top. On Amazon Seller Central, browse to the order page. You will find what books need to be shipped. The first step is to print out the packaging slip. The packaging slip will be included in your shipment. Now let's prep the book. For greater customer experience, I suggest using the following supplies. A self-sealing padded envelope and a self-sealing poly bag. Quick pro tip, poly bags should have the suffocation warning printed. As for the envelopes, we recommend using 11 by 13 padded envelopes as they fit most books. Also, purchase these items in bulk to keep the per unit cost down. It's a good idea to inspect the book before shipping, just in case you accidentally graded the book incorrectly. The better approach is to have a system in place to properly grade the books before you list. Remember, these are used books, so just make sure you undergrade appropriately. Now take the book and put it in the self-seal poly bag. Next, grab the printout of the packaging slip and fold it in half. This will be included in the shipment. Grab the padded envelope, insert the book and packaging slip. Finally, seal the envelope. Take any final measurements if necessary. In this case, we know the envelope is 11 by 13 and the book height is 1 inch. Now it's time to weigh the package. Grab your digital scale. Set it to include ounces. It's better to be exact when buying shipping as it will save you some shipping costs. Remember not to undercut the weight. Rounding up by the ounce is a simple guideline. It looks like the package weight is 1 pound and 14 ounces. Now that everything is packaged, measured, and weighed, let's go back to your order page. From there, click on the Buy Shipping option. Then, click on the Change Parcel Dimensions. Enter the measurements. For this package, it's 11 by 13 by 1. Don't forget to click Apply. Now enter the weight. In this case, it was 1 pound 14 ounces. Now it's time to choose the shipping service. In this case, since it's a book, it can be shipped out as media mail. Always double check the delivery time requested. You may have to change the shipping options if the customer selected a faster delivery time, or if you just delayed in shipping the item. If you delayed shipping the item, you may have to choose a shipping speed that meets your customer's expectations. Finally, click Buy Shipping. Now you can print the label. We recommend printing your label on a self-adhesive label. If you have a thermal printer, that's even better. The final steps are to apply the shipping label to your package and drop it off in the mail. That's it! You have now shipped a book that you sold through Amazon using the Merchant Fulfilled process method.
If you like what you see, please don't forget to click the like button and remember to subscribe. For more tips and tricks, visit booksellacademy.com. Thank you.